Okay, hey, um, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, to show how to properly import um, Alembic files into the Unreal Engine while maintaining uh, their material properties. Well, not material properties, but the materials that you have applied. Um, I've seen uh, a few videos that talk about it on YouTube and no one really has it quite right it seems um, and it took me a few nights of some heavy research trying to figure it out and I, I find it weird that it's not really documented on either Unreal or Maya's side so anyway uh, here we go I guess so I'm gonna do two um, examples one like the regular way you'd apply materials and stuff and then one uh, um, the face way which I'll talk about when we get to it but um, so I'm gonna just do these I've already created uh, uh, three Lambert materials just uh, RGB or red green blue um, just standard materials uh, Lambert materials not standard standard um, okay, so I'm just going to go randomly apply um, these to uh, to these balloons that I've made quickly here. Um, let's do that. And that one. Sure, you guys can be green. When I'm done here. Okay. And you guys can be red. So, kind of like just a simple balloon thing. So, that's kind of how you'd apply materials um, regularly. Um, but the way that I want to do it, or uh, that you need to do it for this to work. Let me just kind of hide this down here. Is let's try and make this the exact same. Um, okay. So if those are all the blue ones that we want to make blue, um, so that they are the same as the other one, we actually want to switch to face mode and select all your faces, um, and then apply the blue uh, material here. Um, this is actually different than applying it to just the object selection. Like if you're just to select the object and apply it, um, selecting the faces is actually different than that. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a face set um, that that material is applied to rather than just applying the material to the object. Um, okay, and that's the important part and that's what's going to make this work. Um, so let's go here and just uh, continue doing this, this is green, uh, making sure to apply them to the faces. Okay. So now on the face material side, they're applied to the faces. On the standard material uh, side, they're applied just regularly. Um, and I've also given, oh, actually, I haven't done that yet because I opened the file up again. Sorry. Right. I'm going to close the hypershade. So right now this will act the exact same in Maya. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, whoa, oh, sorry, 24. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick animation here. Selected, key select, key selected, and then push these guys up to like 1.5 or something. Sure, for 12, key selected, and then bring you back down. Okay, so this is going to be my animation. This uh, this obviously will work for any models. Um, so if you've got characters or whatever that have multiple materials. Um, 
uh, this should work for that. Anyway, so I'm going to just go ahead and save my scene as setup mats, just in case. Get in the habit of saving things often. Okay, so let's export the standard ones first um, as Alembics here. So make sure to go to cache and to export the selection only uh, as Alembic or to Alembic. And then we got to come down here and we've got to turn some stuff on. So UV right, uh, right face sets, that's important. Um, I do world space and then right UV sets too. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you need this one or this one. I just do them both. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can also turn all of them on if you want, I think. Well, it's actually, maybe maybe I should hold my words there. Um, don't think I need color sets. Okay, uh, I would just stick to these. If you're referencing um, files in, uh, Unreal is going to use the, the material name, or the material shader group name, rather, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, and that's going to have the namespace applied to it. So in Unreal, you'd also have to th have the namespace in your material name, uh, which is not good because I don't think uh, in Unreal you can name materials using the colon. So uh, if you've got models that are referenced in and they have namespaces or you're using namespaces, you can hit strip namespace. Uh, in this case, I don't have that, so I'm not going to use it. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to export these as, uh, oh, I have, right, well, let's go to this folder and delete those. Oh, there they are here, cool. Um, and then I'm just going to save them as those again, just in case you think there's any funny business going, I guess. Um, balloons, standard mats, sure. That's the standard ones I have selected. Sure, yes. Export. It'll go through the animation. And then I'm going to export these as well. Um, sorry, through cache, Alembic, export selection, double check, and then export. And I want to do this as face materials. So we'll go export selection. Um, and then I want to get back to that. So, cache, alembic. So here's our two files. Um, so I'm going to keep that open for when we get into Unreal here. Uh, but first, I want to open the uh, Hypershade back up. So in Unreal, I think I already have these named. Um, let me just open all of them. There we go. Okay. Uh, so you would think that it would use this material name here, but it's actually going to use your shader group name. So in this case, it's the exact same as my material name, except I have underscore SG after it. Um, so that's for the blue, the red, and the green. Um, so when we go into Unreal, which I'll have here, you'll see that I have those materials already made. Um, so let's let's do some importing now. So I'm gonna just import the standard mat, and I'm gonna do that a couple ways just to kind of show you. Um, and I'll try and do it the the way that a couple videos that I've seen have have said to do it and I'm gonna explain why that's wrong um, so let's just import our standard one which is the one again with just applying the materials to the object shapes rather than the face or the faces so yeah geometry mesh 0 to 24 which is our animation and then uh, this flattened tracks here uh, a lot of the videos that I saw told you to turn it off. I'm going to keep it on for this one, and I'll turn it off for the next time I import the standard one here, but just to show you the difference. And then I want them to try and find these materials that I've made, so I'm going to hit Find Materials. 
Um, and then I'm just going to make sure that it's rotated 90, 90 degrees in X so that it comes up right side up in, uh, in Unreal since Unreal uses Z up and uh, Maya uses Y up. But anyway, so those are, those are really the only three things that I've changed off the default Alembic import uh, in Unreal here. So I'm just going to hit import. It'll go through this kind of stuff. So here I've had uh, flatten tracks turned on. And what it's done is it's collapsed all of my tracks, or all my tracks, all of my uh, shapes, like my different balloons, down to one um, mesh that Unreal reads. And it also collapsed all the materials down to one material. So I don't have three materials here, so I can't apply my red, blue, and green um, materials here. And if I were to throw this into the level, and I'm probably gonna have to scale this up because um, I built them pretty small, in, or relatively small in Maya compared to Unreal's units. Uh, so you'll see that they've got no uh, shapes applied to them, or shapes, no materials applied to them. Uh, not really what we want. So let's delete this and try and re-import them again. So force delete. Let's import the standard here, and then we'll do it the way that a couple videos have have uh, said to do, uh, which is to uncheck this flatten tracks. So now we'll import that. That's the only thing I've changed. Everything else stayed the same. So I'm still uh, trying to find the materials and I'm still rotating at 90 on X. So if I import here, now what that's going to do to this uh, shape is it's going to hold all of my geometry kind of as separate geometries or separate objects within the alembic cache and because of that it has to create a material for each one of them so now you'll see that i've got way more than three materials here so there's actually one material for each balloon um, in my scene um, also now what we want but if i throw this into the scene here um, and scale it up again probably could do this on the import probably and you'll see again that there is no materials applied to it. So let's uh, keep this here and we'll put it to 000. zero, zero. Um, I think this will be where we want them. So let's import that the face material ones. And here I want to make sure that I keep flattened tracks on. Um, and that's the only thing that I'm going to change. I still want it to try and find the materials and I'm still importing it at 90 degrees on X, uh, rotated 90 degrees on X. So let's import that. And here's our face mats one. So we'll see if we open this up. Um, we have all of our three materials here. It's collapsed my uh, object down to one mesh, but it has retained the three materials and it's also grabbed the materials from the scene. And just to be sure, or just kind of an FYI, they don't need to be in the same folder as you're importing them into. These can be in their own material. Well, I guess I should import these into somewhere else since this is my materials folder. But anyway, they don't need to be in the same folder uh, for this to work. It'll search the entire scene for all materials and it'll grab the ones that are named correctly. So just make sure that you're using the shader group name and not the material name from Maya. Um, and they should attach automatically like they have here. And if I throw in this face one, increase the scale again, and put this to zero, 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 you'll see that it actually came in with the materials applied just how I wanted them. And if I hit play, our animation is there. And it's there on both of them, but the materials are already applied. So if you have materials made that are already in uh, Unreal and you want them to just automatically apply to your models that you're importing, you have to make sure to apply the um, the materials at the face level um, on your objects in Maya. That way they'll create face sets and when you export them as Alembic, assuming that you um, export with the 
face sets option, or is it here, right face sets, then everything should be fine and it'll work perfectly. So I just wanted to clear that up because um, I know a lot of people are having trouble with it. I was having trouble with it. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, have a good one.